How's it going everyone my name is Forivo and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a rotating logo on Adobe After Effects. Uh, it is a little bit complicated but like when you've done it a few times you'll know then how to do it and it'll actually be quite easy. So first thing you want to do is go into file and you want to go into import and if you just go to file um, I have what I need saved to my desktop in a folder so uh, as you see I have AE Spin logo. Uh, I have a background and I have my logo which is a PNG file so you can see there's my things imported there now see there's my logo and then there's the background the green background the reason that's in it is because you can chroma key it out later on in Sony Vegas so what you want to do then is go to composition new composition and you want to change this to 500 and you want to change the height as well to 500 you want to call this um, logo composition or logo com just because then you can find it easily after uh, leave the frame rate uh, if your videos render at 30 uh, change this to 30 but if you're rendering them at 60 like I am just leave it at 60 uh, leave your background color as black as it doesn't really matter for this for now and there's where your logo will come in you just get your logo and you drop it down here and that's it for that part then you're going to new composition you go to composition again you go to new composition and this time you're going to call it 3d logo because what you're going to do here is you're actually going to make the logo 3d you leave the dimensions the exact same you leave everything else the same and you hit ok now you want to drop your logo composition down into the timeline here and then what you want to do is you want to hit this you want to 3d it and then you want to press P to mark your position here on the timeline. Then what you want to do is hold down Alt on your keyboard and then press this here, the little keyframe. And it's going to bring up this. And uh, what you have to type in here is, all in lowercase, value plus square bracket zero comma zero comma index no spaces just type in all that close your square bracket out again then don't hit enter it and actually just click down here and it'll leave it on a single line now what you want to do is change the camera view here your active camera change it to top you want to go and highlight logo comp you want to come up to edit and you want to come to duplicate so now you see it's after duplicating it and it makes it thicker here so what I normally do is that you can just hit Control D now to duplicate it several times. What I do is I normally go up to 25 and that seems to be good enough for me. So I'm just going to go all the way up to 25. And there we go, 25. And you can, as you can see, it's actually gotten thicker as you go up here. So what you want to do then is if you want to see it, just go to Custom View 1 and you can actually see there that it is giving it some depth, although you won't really see it now. So go back to Active Camera. And then just leave it as it is there make sure this is highlighted again then you want to come up to composition new composition and now you want to come and type in final logo because this is where you're going to make the logo rotate and this is where you're going to actually give it the 3d depth on the back on the back of the on the green background so now you have to change this to 1920 by 1080 because that's what i render my video that if you render it at 720 change it to 1280 by 720 so 1920 by 1080, leave it at 60 FPS, square pixels, leave the background color black, it's fine. So now you're come up with this. So what you need to do now is, just checking my list because I've got all wrote down, you need to bring your 3D logo composition and just drop it into the timeline if it wants to come down for me. Now, uh, next just Hit the arrow here this little arrow and drop that you'll see transform and then hit that and it'll bring it down bring this the whole way to the end the marker the time marker on your timeline and then hit the 3d box but also hit this little star here for comp layers so just hit that and what that'll do is that'll actually keep the logo 3d when you rotate it so now that you're here you come to y rotation when once you've hit this arrow there'll be a drop down for transform and it's just come down to Y rotation and since this is at the end just click this here and type in 5 but also hit this little keyframe 
So what that'll do is that'll actually mark that when it gets to there it needs to have done five rotations. Then you bring the time marker the whole way back and you change this then to zero and you just click off it and it'll leave a keyframe. So as you can see, if I move the marker across, it actually rotates the logo like that. And from this, you're nearly finished. All you have to do then is come back up, just hit this little arrow again, close that, then take your background, your green background that you dropped in and drop it on the back and see the logo just sit there like that. And if I actually move the time across, you can see the logo is in fact 3D. So what you do now is then you go to composition and add to render queue and you just choose where you want to output it to like I'm just going to output it to my um, my project media folder but I'm going to call it uh, AE logo rotate or something it's hard to do this when it's laptops and by the way AE logo rotate and it'll save as an AVI just hit save and then hit render now the problem with this is this is going to actually take a while because when this is actually rendered out it's 10 gig it's 10 gigabytes in size but there is a way to make it smaller and you just have to put it through sony vegas so what i'm going to do is i'm going to stop the video here and i'll come back when this is finished rendering out and i will show you how to put it through sony vegas to um render out the video so i'll be right back right so it's finally finished rendering it took as you can see there 22 minutes which is fucking shit because it keeps taking forever to render but anyway now what you want to do is you want to open up sony vegas if you have it or any video editor that you have no i don't want to save so are you going to close out for me yeah oh there's a uh, audacity hello right so here's sony vegas uh, you want to go to file and just open and if you can remember you saved it just save it here so there it is ae logo rotate so just give it a second for all this to show up 30 seconds long import uh just hit no because it doesn't really matter at the minute so i just want to show you something really quick just to show you how fucking insanely um big this is here we go sorry that took went the wrong way see there 10 almost 10 and a half gigabytes right which is fucking insane it's too big so what you do is you just drop it into sony vegas you just highlight the whole lot file render as as you'll see here now in a second that um, uh, there is a fast way to render out just remember what you rendered it in in After Effects because you need to do it in the same with this obviously it's not going to work out so I have if you go into Magic AVC AEC and you come down here you'll see one that has uh, your graphics card beside it and if you want to render out it's internet HD for me I use internet HD 1080p 59.94 because that's 60fps uh, just change the video title to um, so if you want, so like AE rotate. Had to do it here. Hit that. And then just hit render. And then just let it render out in Sony Vegas. Once it's done in Sony Vegas, what will actually happen is it won't. I found that when it was rendering out after after I watched it, after it rendered out just After Effects, it lagged quite a lot. So I actually I chanced putting it through Sony Vegas and Sony Vegas actually rendered it out so it was a nice smooth finish. So I'll show you now. Um, because I've already rendered this out a lot of times. I have a few of them here. So when you go into it, the logo's been final. Whoops, sorry, my bad guys. <clears throat> I'm sick, so forgive me. But there you are, see? It rendered out perfect 1080p 60fps on a green screen. So what actually happens now is if you wanted, uh, while well, I've got Sony Vegas open, I'll show you. All right, guys, so I'm gonna show you what it looks like when you put it into an actual video. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to file, and I'm just gonna import um, some gameplay that I have of something or another. So just give me a second, I'll find some. I just need to remember what I recorded in 1080 because I think I recorded this in 1080. I did, yeah. So what I'll do is I'll actually just uh, drop that in. I won't render the whole video, I'll just render a section of it because Obviously it'll take too long to render the whole lot. Now what you do is you bring your logo or whatever it was you made rotate down here and you just drop it here to the length of the video. Uh, come to video effects, get green screen, not pure green screen, I tried that. Use green screen and drop it on top. Now your low threshold, you wanna change that to 0 0.6 because that gets rid of the gray box that is around it all the time. So I would just do that. Then you can actually reset here. And me, what I do is I actually put it kind of in the corner out of the way or a little bit over to the side so just like so like 
there if you wanted like that that'd be a nice place to put it there I suppose so you just close out of that then bring it back to the start um, I'll render out this now and I'll just let you see uh, exactly what it looks like in the video itself so I'll put this video at the end of this and you can actually see what it looks like so anyways thank you all so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it leave a like if you did it really helps me out with people finding my channel for the first time and subscribe for more content if you want to see more videos like this and as always I'll see you in the next video bye